hello everyone hope you all are doing good and uh, this is a different kind of video and uh, like in this i am going to explain it to you that if you are planning to buy a new machine or a new laptop so why you should consider buying a macbook air m1 so before i start this video let me tell you that uh, i am not a apple fanboy and apart from this uh, like macbook air i don't own any other apple gadget so but still i love this device and um, what it has been almost uh, like a year of me using it and uh, before that from past 8 years i was using a normal windows laptop uh, with i3 configuration obviously like uh, at that time i3 makes sense because i was in college and i couldn't afford uh, such a expensive machine and uh, the m1 chip has changed the game for apple and uh, ek, uh, again i'm going to show it to you like uh, what are the differences and how it this machine is going to make your life easy and uh, even if you are a qa or an automation engineer okay so why should uh, like consider uh, considering this machine over any windows laptop so before i start let me tell you that i own this uh, like 16 gb version and even if you are planning to buy this why you should go for the 16 gb version and not the 8 gb version okay and uh, like if if you are on short of money like if you have short of funds so rather than going for a macbook pro go for an macbook air but again in that like go for a 16 gb version rather than uh, 8 gb because uh, like for hard disk you can like uh, purchase an external hard disk which i have like purchased also so you can increase your hard disk but you cannot increase your ram in the new like uh, silicon apple silicon chips okay so better like if you're investing for 5 uh, to 7 years i mean this is the time period uh, which you can easily maintain your machine so imagine that like i if i have used my windows laptop for 8 years imagine how ma how many years i'm going to spend it on my uh, apple machine okay so like uh, let's start so right now like i have a few very few uh, applications running so let me like close all of this and this is notes this is quick launcher and uh, if i like if i quit this also so activity monitor okay so right now uh it is consuming like uh, 10 gb is memory used and in that like uh, it has cached uh, 5 gb so 4 gb is currently in use so imagine like uh, windows uh, server is itself consuming almost uh, 1.5 gb so if you have a 8 gb machine then in that case uh, like uh, 4 to 5 gb will be automatically allocated uh, to run that os okay so if you are uh, someone like obviously like if you are watching this video i assume that uh, you are into like um, coding and uh, like in technology so and you will not use this machine to watch movies only like for that like if you need to watch movies uh, better go for a 25000 uh, windows laptop um, but again if you are like serious little bit serious about your future then um, in that case also you can go with windows but still like uh, what my motive here is to tell you that uh, why apple machines make sense and why this machine is a value for money uh, value for money machine okay so like if you check right now and um, let's say i7 we can compare this machine to an i7 windows machine um, so just check on check it on any online platform and uh, an ideal i7 machine with a good screen will cost you around somewhere to 7 to 80000 okay so why not uh, like put in just little more money and uh, get something better i mean five times better than what you get at uh, 60 to 70k right so as uh, what i have told you that right now it is using around 9 minus 4 5 gb ideal okay and in that like i have not, nothing like not a heavy application running right now so let me start running 
let me start opening my chrome okay this is my chrome open and uh, in that also like i can open four windows let me open google.com okay so with four tabs open and uh, so has it refreshed where is chrome yeah so chrome is here and it is not taking that much space now let me like open my intellij like i used to work on eclipse but um, from past few months i have switched to intellij and guys i'm loving it it is somehow better like this is a topic for different video okay so what has it yeah there was this method like count the occurrence of string which i was trying some other day so with intellij open let's see how much yeah so intellij itself has taken 1 gb okay so now imagine if you have an 8 gb machine so with this only i'm sure like you will be you are see 7.5 gb 7.5 gb of app memory itself so after that uh, your uh, ram not your ram but your uh, like hard disk will be used for uh, swap memory okay so just to avoid that uh, and i'm sure like uh, in this i have not like started running or uh, like i have to build it first because this is dot class file i guess so if you have few chrome windows open and like i have not i still open my visual studio code and my docker so imagine like i started running a docker daemon so it will take a lot of space and uh, like it hasn't happened till date that i have used um, like total 16 gb but still like uh, most of the time i go to like 14 14 gb max so this way i'm telling you like uh, why I'm, you should uh, go for a 16 gb version okay and uh, my favorite thing of opening and like telling you through a word document so one more thing is that uh, as you all must be aware that uh, the boot time of this machine is like it is always uh, open so i close the lid and open it like within 0.01 second 0.1 second it will like not even this much also so it will boot up in no time okay and the response like uh, by response i mean uh, the like how you run your code and compile and everything like uh, although i don't use uh, uh, this what do you call it uh, this software in which uh, you compile all the videos and uh, translate convert it i don't use it but uh, like on my day to day task also uh, this is like something it is awesome so it will save a lot of time not a lot of but consider considerable amount of time so even if like a windows machine take 5 second to boot up in case of uh, ssd okay and maybe 15 to 20 seconds in case of uh, hard disk hdd so but in this case like it is always open and it doesn't doesn't consume any battery also so in night if you keep it at keep it at 100% so in morning like there's a 99% chance that it will be at 100% so battery is like you can easily get uh, 10 to 12 hours of battery time so this is also something which you should consider uh, let's say you are going to college so you don't need to carry your charger in office or college also okay and like i use my secondary screen screen so i connect it with dock so there is no need of charging because it automatically gets charged at from dock now like memory management i showed you that um, considering what i think is that 16 gb on windows is kind of equivalent to 8 gb on mac because just because of memory management right just la, just like how oneplus phones like in android itself how like uh, oneplus phones take let, less ram than the other counterparts so similarly here um, this is my like this is not 100% accurate but still like this is what i feel that uh, an 8gb 
Apple machine is equivalent to 16 GB Windows machine just because of uh, better memory management because all the hardware and software are managed by Apple itself right so okay now this I told you that uh, if you take an i7 machine at 70 to 80 K okay and uh, an Apple machine like M1 at uh, let me consider that after everything so even if you apply the um, let's say a student discount and buy the accessories then also it will cost you around 85k okay uh, this is for the 8 GB version but I'll consider you go for 16 GB version so this will cost you around 1 lakh but still uh, like this is at least four to five times so the output you get see uh, if after spending 80k you are scoring 10 out of 2 and here if you are uh, like uh, scoring 10 out of 8 so just spending like 20 to 30 thousand more you are getting this much of like four times four to five times of more performance and uh, again like there are some little little things which i haven't uh, wrote down here speakers is like I haven't uh, have that sound it's it's a class apart so not a single windows uh, machine can match what the Apple um, speakers can do not till now okay so just to give you an more example to clear about this um, in the year like 2010 and 11 so at that time Android phones used to be very slow and uh, like at that time it makes sense to buy an iPhone just because uh, they are better in uh, like at that time uh, like uh, Android phone used to hang a lot right and uh, iPhones doesn't used to hang so this is the same case uh, here also that uh, although like with SSD you can improve your performance uh, in your laptop but still the performance of M1 and this is like base macbook m1 okay i'm not talking about m2 or macbook pro but uh, this is i'm telling you guys this is four to five times better than an i7 machine okay now coming to the part like why you should not go for an macbook air macbook air so just like iPhone if you want to show off then I'll suggest you to not buy this machine because um, I mean if you have some money to spend obviously you can show off but just for the sake of show off please don't buy this machine and the second part is like improve your coding skills I have seen some guys telling me that okay you improve your coding skills by um, just uh, like the coding on Mac that is not true guys if you have that zeal inside you you can code it on an uh, i3 machine also or an like Pentium 4 also <laughs> no not Pentium 4 but at least an i3 so right now a new i3 machine will cost you at least 30,000 yeah this is like bare minimum and in that I'm not sure whether you will get SSD or not but this is 30 to 40,000 you will get an i3 machine so if you are spending this much on an i3 better like upgrade and uh, go for this only if you have money and that zeal to learn plus like you are planning to use your machine for at least like seven to eight years okay and again like i am against taking any kind of loan unless until unless it's a home loan so like if you are borrowing money from someone just to buy a macbook that doesn't make any sense okay better like uh, save for one year and in that buy a second hand uh, 10k laptop and wait for one year or let's say two year and uh, go for mac afterwards but like never take loan for gadgets not for iphone not for macbook and again like uh, i told you in the beginning of the video that apart from this macbook i don't uh, own any like mac stuff okay and uh, I think apart from this MacBook, I don't find any um, uh, Apple product a uh, value for money product because uh, let's say iPhone. So that's a different uh, like um, topic altogether. Let's not deviate uh, from the topic. So and the 
fourth thing which i think which i feel that uh, can hinder you is that uh, like high time hard time migrating to mac os so it took me around 1 to 2 months to get uh, used to like the shortcuts and like compiling your code and like finding stuff you, they don't have the concept of drive so you always have to find like control f like uh, control space and uh, in in intellij also you have to set up certain shortcuts according to your macbook so like you will face some issues in the beginning but um, as you like used to use it so over the time you will get used to it okay and one more thing that if you're planning to buy then i think this july to september time is the best because last year they ran that back to university offer back to university so what they did in that like as you all know that student get 10% discount so you can like uh, manage this just get some your cousin's id or someone like known student id and uh, you can get 10% off on that and like day before yesterday itself i uh, like um, i saw that they have increased the price of macbook so earlier it was like 93k now it is 99k so i don't know why they increase that uh, 7k but even if in that 99k you put a 10% discount so it will come down to 89k and this is for the 8gb version and for 16gb version like uh, it will be close to uh, like 120 so 108k like 1 lakh 8000 for 16gb version and believe me guys last year i get this 16gb version at 6, 86k so even less than what 8gb cost now and just for the sake i have like uh, included this see this is my machine like the 16gb version and i got it at 16 uh, 86110 so how did i do that uh, so at that time it was like 112 so after getting the discount it was like 1 lakh okay the 10% discount and at that time they were running an offer of macbook uh, not macbook the airpods one okay so by somehow like my airpods got lost in uh, transit like they were never delivered to me so they included they like they gave me a cash back of 14k so effectively i got this in 86k so that was like the best deal till now and even if you can get this macbook uh, air m1 16gb version in 1 lakh so that will be like really value for money even today like if i have to buy it again i'll buy it for 1 lakh also just because like after using it for one year i can feel that uh, that it is some something that is going to increase my productivity in some way right so that's it guys uh, this was like i thought of making this video also just because uh, like it is a tool for you right so just let me know uh, how you felt about it and do you want me to make more such videos regarding like apart from um, regular testing and coding stuff so just comment down below how you felt about this video and hope to meet you again thank you guys